going to show you how to fold tiny paper stars as part of this Star Won't Go Out's Esther Day Stars project. And I'll show you how to use them to send messages of love to friends and family this Esther Day. In case we haven't met, my name is Lauren Fairweather and I make cute DIY tutorials and video blogs inspired by things I get super excited about, like Harry Potter. But enough about me. Esther Day celebrates non-romantic love and encourages us to tell people that we appreciate them, even though sometimes that can be difficult to say. Esther Earl, who's a friend of mine, reminded us how important it is to express the kinds of love that often go unsaid. And ever since she passed away back in 2010 at the age of 16, we've spent her birthday, August 3rd, letting our friends and family know just how much they mean to us. Read the video description below for more information about Esther and her holiday. This DIY is super simple, and you can make it using any paper or cutting tools you have around. And while you're folding it, you can write what someone means to you on the inside. Then make as many of them as you want, package them however you'd like, and send them to that person. You might not even realize how much of an impact that little note could have on them, which is why it's so important. Here's how to make them. To start, cut a long strip of paper. Mine is 3 eighths of an inch by 11 inches long, but feel free to try out different sizes and pick the one you like best. Cross one end of the paper strip over the other to make a loop, then wrap the top end around the other and push it through the loop like you're tying a knot. Now slide the knot to one end as you slowly tighten and flatten it. The goal here is to end up with a five-sided shape. You don't have to completely crease the sides, just get the corners to be nice and pointy. Fold over the short end, lining up the fold and the side with the sides of the pentagon so you can tuck it into one of these flaps. You can trim it or fold it over to make sure it fits. Here's the important part. Write a note for someone on the paper so your message will be inside the star once it's folded up. I'm writing down quick little messages of love, but since it can sometimes be difficult to sum that up, I'll probably end up making a handful of these for each person. You can also write your favorite quotes, wishes you have, or memories that will make them smile. When you're done writing, firmly wrap the long end around the pentagon again and again. Make sure you're lining up the paper strip with the sides of the shape and keep turning it as you go so there aren't any gaps. This is one of those things that will make more sense when you get it into your hands and try it out yourself. Remember that you're aiming for the strip to wrap around the flat side diagonally across from it with one corner on either side of it. Once you've reached the end, carefully tuck it into this little pocket on the shape you just rolled up. You can trim or fold it over if the piece is too long. To make it into a tiny star, hold the piece around the edges and press your thumbnail vertically into the side halfway between two of the corners. Turn it and repeat this step for each of the five sides. The star should puff up in the middle when you do this, but it takes a bit of practice, so make a few of these to get the hang of it. I like to fix it up and pinch the corners until I get the shape just right, and then your first little paper star is finished. You can make these stars in as many sizes, colors, and quantities as you'd like. They're commonly displayed and gifted in clear jars, but you can also string them onto a garland using a needle and thread, leave a pile wherever your friends and family would find them, or toss a bunch of them into the mail for a loved one you don't see as often. This Star Won't Go Out, which is the charity started in Esther's honor, started the Esther Day's Stars Project and asked me to share it with you. If you'd like to participate, make your star, then post a picture or video of what you made, and maybe even the loved ones you made them for on August 3rd with the hashtag Esther Day Stars. Don't forget to check the video description for links to more information about everything I've mentioned in this video, including a free printout that you can use to make these stars. So this Esther Day, don't be afraid to tell someone you love them. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.